Hello everyone. Today I will show you how to set up your own mail server. It's not actually setting up own mail server. It's actually how to send mail from your own domain with SSL. We know that uh, if you use cPanel, then there is a restriction that we cannot use our default mail dot your domain dot com. Like if I have a website from parkirabit dot com. That I can't use mail.parkirabit.com with SSL. It's what's like the customer support executives say. But still we can use it. But how? As their explanation, it is reserved by the cPanel, so you cannot add any SSL to mail.parkirabit.com. For that you have to use uh, let us check it first. Like it's my cPanel and I'm going to uh, check an email like yes I'm going to configure mail account so there is some auto configuration scripts but here is something that if I need to use the secure SSL or TLS method then I have to use their mail server. Here it is mail.parkyabit.com mail.parkyabit.com but in your dashboard it's something different like it's something that mail.server221.webhosting.com or something like that server21.webhosting.com and in non SSL settings there is mail.yourdomain.com so that's a big issue so how can you fix this? Okay, let's go how to fix this. We need to go to our advanced DNS zone editor. Then we need to delete the mail.yourdomain.com part. Let us find mail. My domain is parkyrabbit. Let me check where it is. It's here at the end, but in your case, you will find it after the main domain because I had entered it second time. So you will find it after right, right after your main domain. We need to delete this thing. Now you need to create a subdomain. I go into mail dot com or whatever you want but I recommend you to use mail.yourdomain.com then you need to SSL you need to add SSL into it so you need to go to your SSL manager I use wildcard SSL but if you use single domain SSL or something like that uh, the you know how to set this up but I'm showing you for the wildcard SSL but don't worry it will work for the single domain SSL also I need to manage SSL and I need to install my SSL in that subdomain and enable SNI for mail services okay now it's done now I need to go to Outlook or something like that you can use any other email client but I prefer Outlook test detecting server Authentication failed. Let us read by other email. Test is unknown, same as mail dot dot com. Sorry. Use SSL to connect. 
this SSL to connect. Now let's see what happens. At first it gives me error because I removed the test editor parkyramid.com email few minutes ago. So it get confused. Okay, let us check it by sending an email to team. Let us check the email. See, email received, and this email is sent through the secure uh, secure socket layer. So now it's configured as SSL. Okay, thank you guys. In next video, I will show you how to configure it in Outlook or how to set the signatures. Thank you.